cell release. Good, nice. Focus your mind on the breathing and bring the mind. Um, since leaving America and coming here, I would say my yoga practice has evolved, um, but not in the sense that you could look at me and say, "This guy is light years ahead of uh, light years ahead of where he was, you know, just a month ago." I would say that there's just been seeds that have been planted that 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 I didn't have access to before, and I didn't really know that I didn't really know that before. All I was was just just soil, just empty soil, good soil, good fertile land. But I thought for sure things were growing, and they weren't. Nothing was really. I didn't have any seeds to even plant. So here it's, it, it's taking that soil and it's really planting these seeds. And now it's the, I need the time to really just fertilize. Fertilize, water, time for things to grow and mature. And that's really where I'm at now. It's, uh, you can't really see the fruits of any of my labor because it hasn't really had the time to do that. So in due time, uh, things will... Things will take place, take shape, take form. I, I feel like it, it didn't take long though to get in the swing of things, to take a couple classes and, and to ask around and to figure out who was real and who was fake. And, and, and for the most part, you know, they're different, a lot of them, but they're all just as real as the next. And that's kind of like the different forms of the yoga here. I've been so thankful to, to really try some different styles. I'm just, my mind is opening up to so many different styles of yoga. And, and my path to yoga is really just starting. But one thing I learned um, in a lecture that we were, we were just at is that like, Yoga really starts when you start to make it your own, when it starts to become your own path. Like when you really make yoga your own is really like when the yoga starts. But it takes a lifetime to really make yoga a part of your life. Um, so it's, it's, it's a constant pursuit. Um, one that I'm extremely thankful for. I think the thing that I'm most pumped about or the thing that I'm finding the most connection with is definitely Ashtanga. I think Ashtanga for me and the eight limbs is something that like I think is going to be the most beneficial thing that I bring back home for me personally. Um, but there's just so many different things that I think like as an athlete that will help not only me but other athletes like Iyengar Yoga. Like I think Iyengar Yoga is one of the best sports therapies that I've ever seen before. I've never even seen things like this before with the props being used and how beneficial it is for just your whole entire body. I'm like why are there not more Iyengar studios around every sports team you know it's unbelievable so I mean that's another avenue to go down I'm just starting you know this is my first time here but this is another place where I could see myself coming back to ideally once a year for the rest of my life to study You have to bring this back with you because you realize what you came here searching was an escape from everything back in America. I mean, not everything, but it was an escape from from the, neg the negative things that, that you've allowed to like fester inside of you, that you've allowed to be a part of you, that you've allowed to be a part of your personality, be a part of your viewpoint, your perspective of the world, you know? And that's so many people. And I feel like if you come here and you don't take the time to, to self-analyze, then they say that's where it starts, when you can really start to self-analyze yourself. A lot of people say that's when yoga starts, is when you can really start to be aware 
of the things that, that are your shortcomings, rather. Now putting your upper hand on the waist. Inhaling, coming back. Both hands on the waist. Exhaling, feet together, close together. Now the Parivrita, Trikodasam. Bring your right leg back, change your foot. It's not easy to find though, it's definitely not. I mean, because it's just as easy to come here and remain that person that keeps you down, to remain that person that that impacts the world in, in a negative way. Bad habits, and bad habits don't always have to mean substance, you know? Bad habits could be the way you treat other people. It could be the way you think about other people only. It could be the way you judge people. There's a whole lot that goes to evolving as a person, and that's really what the beautiful part about yoga is. It assesses all those things. If you look closely in it, it, it has truly the answers to everything. I mean, in the most scientific way. I think that was always my problem with religion. It was like, there was just so much faith in it. Like, you know, we don't have the answer for this. Like, well, just, you know, just have faith that God knows the answer. And it's the truth. Like, here, there's, there's definitely a, an understanding of a higher power. And you have, you know, like Brahman, like the the universal, you know, the universal all, these names for things that are like the universal consciousness, this, that, and the other, but like scientifically, they touch on almost every single aspect of humanity, right down to just like the molecular structure of things. It's an unbelievable science. Lord God, do not see.